Hi, this is Eva Christofferson with a quantum astrology report for uh, the 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th of December 2017. Uh, the 12th, the sun will be at 20 degrees of Sagittarius and then going 21, 23, 24 degrees of Sagittarius. The moon, the 12th, uh, will be in mid Libra and going to be at mid Scorpio the 14th of December. Uh, I have a bad throat. I have a cold and a I hope it's possible, but I wanted to, to share this with you, so we'll see how it goes. You have had my coughing sometimes, and now I got really a lot to take care of, and I'm doing that uh, tea, honey, ginger, meditation, meditation, rest, sleeping, putting the light into me, and I found a fantastic meditation steve nobel awakening the magician's transmission uh, the last part is november 17th steve nobel on youtube it was the nobel ceremony in sweden yesterday steve nobel but the nobel ceremony that's the three-dimensional world sweden is rather well known for that that's why i mention it uh, but this meditation from uh, about awakening the magicians, it was so good also for the star seeds here to awake, to take the energy, crystal energy from our earth, from the fairies and the incoming light energy from above. So and connecting the, this heaven earth connection. That is so very much needed. And I hope I can bring some light on what's happening right now. And it's a lot happening again. It's a Stargate, 1212. Uh, Stargate with Actorus in the center, the fixed star Actorus. Uh, Stargate for healing of our three dimensional bodies and mind. I'm coming back to that. We have the sun in Sagittarius. That's the higher wisdom, the quantum knowledge, the truth. It's a transcendence, the first collective transcendence sign after the personal up to Scorpio, Libra Scorpio about relationships. And uh, Jupiter, the ruler of Sagittarius, is in Scorpio, mid Scorpio. So this wisdom now is about revealing the hidden knowledge. Step by step anchoring the light, activating our light bodies. And I also can recommend Gaia.com uh, and the, yeah, it's a movie film, The Last Avatar, The Last Avatar on Gaia.com. It's about this activation of the light body in us. In us. Uh, mm, we have Mercury, the quantum communication, the thought Thomas. Mercury is in direct con conjunction with the sun at this period. Mercury is retrograde. And Mercury has just left Saturn. Saturn is at 29 degrees of Sagittarius. Uh, Saturn, our quantum reality together with Capricorn. And Mercury gone retrograde, introspect to observe ourselves. And it's also a big reprogramming of our mind ongoing now, this retrograde period, to leave the old patterns, to leave what we have been stuck in, the thought patterns, the fear, to come into joy, to come into vibration of abundance of gratitude for everything, to surrender everything. 
to silence the mind and then be able to create. And we have uh, trying. No, we don't have a trine, we have a square, yeah, a square, an inner challenge to the healing plan, healing asteroid Chiron, the, the wounded healer Chiron in late Pisces, healing ourselves, our spiritual wounds, and it's really powerful because Chiron is at 24 degrees of uh, Pisces, the quantum source, mm -hmm. quantum spirit, Pisces. We have this ongoing transformation of our mind, our patterns, and Pluto, the soul in Capricorn, is live or die. Are you going on the soul path or not? If not, something will happen, cataclysmic, or if you manage to step by step, take your steps, go into action to get experience, then it's just gradual. But if you are not, there will come cataclysmic reactions from your life. And that's about correction. Your soul wants to correct something in your life and you create your own life with uh, Uranus retrograde in late Aries, 24 degrees of Aries Uranus is and that's the quantum room planet Uranus the lightning and uh, it's a quantum I am to create you create your own reality so it's about to correct your own reality and surrender and change this mindset. The Mercury in late Sagittarius. Uh, because soon, very soon, Saturn will go into Capricorn. You will hear a lot from astrologers, me and others. But this occasion, the Sun will come into Capricorn. And then in a while also Venus, Mercury and Mars and then later even Jupiter, we will have a big conjunction 2020 with Jupiter, Saturn, uh, Pluto in late Capricorn. But now it's the start of this and I want to, I will have to share, you can see here, here is, uh, here is the chart, natal chart here. And it's about uh, for the 12th of December. And I took midnight because something interesting is starting there. But you see here Capricorn and Saturn going into Capricorn. But you also see, if you know this, uh, here, we have, from, here we have the personal houses up to uh, Virgo. And then after that, the collective relationships here from Libra and going all over here and nearly every planet is here it's only Uranus and North Node everything is over here so it's a lot about this transformation of our society right now our common beliefs our uh, what we're here for and this uh, you see Mercury here, our mind patterns, when Saturn goes into Capricorn, this, it's so much energy ongoing now, so much coming to Earth and coming from us, light workers. So all is well when you do your path. But if you are stuck in the mind, if that's a danger, most of the people on Earth, they live just for survival. That's around 70, 75% of the population. 20% live in a more uh, individuated to recognize, etc. and five in the spiritual states, according to Jeffrey Wolf, Jeffrey Wolf Green and the evolutionary astrology. 
Uh, so those who just live for yeah, today, they will they will continue just to live through for today in this three-dimensional world and for the earthly old way of living. Okay, that's um, they are perfectly pleased with that one. Their soul in this life, but those who are in this individuated and spiritual state. We want more, we want this ascension. And if, but if you are in the mind of illusions, that Neptune in Pisces here can be about illusions. And Jupiter is in a trine to Neptune, so it's amplified. Then Saturn going into Capricorn, Sun going into Capricorn, and Venus, Mercury coming after, it will these changes in my reality, if I'm in my mindset, I do, I do everything I can to really show my emotional vibrations, to show myself. Because if you are stuck in your mindset, things will happen when Saturn coming into Capricorn here. Mm. This Stargate. It's about Uranus here in opposition to Arcturus, the fixed star Arcturus. And Arcturus will be amplified by the moon coming in here at midnight the 12th. And for some eight hours during the night here in Europe, during the evening in the US, uh, this will be amplified, this opposition. Uranus has been in opposition to the fixed star Arcturus for a long time now. Uranus is the ruler of the star seeds, and Arcturus is a very important star seed already about electromagnetic healing, about different ways of uh, heal yourself. And also the soul goes by Arcturus on its way here, and coming from Earth, it also passes by to be taken care of by actors. They live in fifth and higher dimension and they are here with us. And this is a stargate now where the influence of actors will be very big. Uh, then we're coming up to the 14th and the moon coming up to Jupiter and Scorpio amplifying this wisdom seeker, the, Scorpio, Jupiter, and Mars is here now. Mars is the rule of Scorpio. That's passion, desire, sexual energy. And Mars is at home then in Scorpio. So this is power. Power to create. Power to go un with, under. Power to be ourselves. And uh, the sun has gone up to 22 degrees, the master degree of Sagittarius, and Mercury going down, meeting Venus here in a couple of days. Mercury will go retrograde to 13 degrees of Sagittarius. So, take care. Do what you are here for. And if you don't know it, take steps, then the experience will show you what you are here for. And if you are a starseed, if you feel your origin, if you have with your intuition feelings about being a starseed, take a starseed reading. I have a sale all of December, 40% off on that one. And I think I'm the cheapest on the market on Starseed's readings. And uh, it's because it's a lot of work to do those, but it's so rewarding for me and for those who I do it for. This awakening is immense. So please check the Starseed readings. Give that as a gift to yourself for Christmas. Uh, so, take your power back, use this stargate of healing, heal yourself, heal your body, take care, and uh, thank you for listening, thank you for being here. 
oh, I want to draw a card also. I want to draw a card for my quantum tarot card. So I have 80 cards, quantum physics and tarot. And I will draw a card to this one. This four of cups is this one. And it's about extra particles. Indicates uh, mm, something uh, has begun to stagnate. You are bored, frustrated, and up unappreciated. Where have you got stuck? Where have you got stuck? And um, I know this, I have taken some very important decisions in my life that I can't share, share yet. Uh, but I have already taken care of the part where I was stuck. And please do that, you also. So take care, bye bye, thanks for listening.